Hello. Um, this is my second video. Um, this time, instead of the SU100Y, I will be using the heavy tank number one Japanese Tiger. Uh, during World War II, the Japanese were running out of everything metal, uh, gasoline, diesel, ships, aircraft. So they turned to the Germans for their assistance. And the Germans shipped them a supply of a little over 1,000 Tigers. And luckily, the HMS Repulse and the HMS Prince of Wales intercepted the convoy and sunk them. So luckily, these Tigers never got to Japan. Uh, God knows what if they did. The attack of Iwo Jima probably would have been a lot different. So, yeah, um, it weighs about 61 tons, 57 to 61 tons. Uh, the turret armor is 100 millimeters on the front, 100 millimeters, and 80 millimeters on the sides, and 80 millimeters on the back. Uh, the top, I have no idea. Uh, actually, I do. It's uh, 20 millimeters. Uh, the hull's top armor is 30 millimeters. Side armor is 80. The rear is 80. And the front is 100. Um, the standard shell damage is 165 to 275. Uh, the rate of fire is 8.5 shells a minute. And the Q range is uh, 370 meters. Uh, these are all true facts, uh, not just from the game, but I have supported these facts. Um, if you ever do go to Wargaming's website, they do have several, I'm not going to say several different channels, but they do have an array of different channels. Uh, uh, one being the Chieftain's Hatch, where, uh, uh, they go inside the ships, they go inside the tanks, um, uh, and that leads me to the next show that I will recommend to you, which is Inside the Ships. It's a very nice show, it'll tell you how that ship was made famous why it should be known and um it's just a nice show so uh without a doubt um we'll get into this uh we're, we're doing random battles um the next next video i'll make um uh, we're gonna do team training Showtime for you right now. Yeah. Sorry, um, one of my dad's friends came in. Gotta shut the door. Sorry, I'm gonna just angle this a little bit. Just so I can at least see a little bit. And if you guys are wondering, I'm a four year veteran, so I've been playing for almost as long as World of Tanks has been out. So, um, but I'm, I'm not as good as those guys are. And if you're wondering, uh, I'm an Xbox veteran, not a PC veteran. Probably a PC veteran about a year and a half now. So, don't expect me to get, like, any kills or anything. Because I'm not really. That guy. That, that guy's being smart. Yeah, dude, can continue driving into that wall. That's. 
That's what that's what everyone wants to see. It's like we got another Japanese heavy right here. This was also another one of the heavies that was never really uh, never really complete uh, during World War II. They wished for it. They planned for it. But uh the Japanese stuck their necks out pretty far. Oh shit. But I am, I am relatively good at flanking, so... Crap. Oh, balls. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry for the language. Um, I don't normally cuss. Whoa, wow, what? How did he not pen that? Well, um... I guess that's the end of this episode. Uh, I'm not here to do commentary on other people's battles. Wow, nice, uh, nice shot, bro. Um... Another thing to let you guys know is, um... I'm kind of a slow typer. But, um, yeah, if you guys ever want to hit me up for a battle, uh, my name is, uh, Tanking Cow. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in another video.